I just wanted to tell you about hydrogen water and the scariest thing that comes into my office, and that is dementia. And that's used to describe symptoms associated with the decline in your cognitive function and severe enough to interfere with daily life and activities. And you can see like how this is making, you know, literally hydrogen here. That dementia, it's not a specific disease, but it's rather a set of symptoms that can result in underlying conditions affecting the brain and it's characterized by progressive impairment in memory and thinking, communication, judgment, and the ability to perform everyday tasks. I've said multiple times on my podcast and our membership program, I don't care about gray hair, I don't care about wrinkles, but I really wanna preserve this. A common type of dementia is Alzheimer's, which accounts for 60 to 80% of the cases, but the other types of dementia, there's vascular dementia, Lewy body dementia, frontotemporal dementia, and mixed dementia, which is actually a combination of those. But each dementia is associated with a district pattern of cognitive decline, underlying brain features, and clinical features. So what is the relationship between dementia and hydrogen? Well, this little hydrogen uh, maker helps reduce oxidative stress, which plays a, a major role in the disease progression of dementia. So if we have too much inflammation, neurodegenerative processes, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's, frontotemporal dementia, and the gradual loss of neurons and synapses in the brain, and it contributes to the abnormal protein aggregates such as beta amyloid plaques and tau tangles in Alzheimer's disease. There's also something called reactive oxygen species, which disrupts neuron signaling and triggering inflammatory processes, leading to the nerves dying. And then the most common reason for people getting sick, and that is the lack of energy or what we call impaired mitochondrial function. The cellular little powerhouse responsible for creating ATP in the body causes, or if we don't have enough of it, it makes the nerves degenerate and it's believed to contribute to neuronal dementia. And excessive reaction oxygen species produce mitochondrial damage. It affects your DNA, your proteins, your fats, and it makes it so that you can't generate energy. And that oxidative stress, it can trigger inflammatory responses in the brain, and the chronic inflammation is a prominent feature of dementia and cognitive decline. I mean, it just doesn't make the juice that it's supposed to. Now, the other neat thing about this is there's tons and tons of research that I'm gonna be going over that talks about hydrogen and hydrogen gas therapies and how we can actually get this in to reduce inflammatory cytokines, chemokines, reactive nitrogen species, why they think that it helps to cross the blood-brain barrier. So this is just um, clear, excuse me, clean water that we're running through a hyd hydrogen ion generator. And then all I'm doing is drinking the water. Now there's ways to breathe it, there's ways to to drink it, there's ways, some advanced ways to get it in the system, like there's a hydrogen um, en enema, and there's even places in the world that are doing hydrogen IV therapy. So we're gonna keep going through this. I'm committed to educating more and more of our patient base about hydrogen water. I'm so excited this is my third day on this program, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you want to get help across the street or across the country, go to bestmedicaloptions.com. We have a complimentary little thing that you can fill in and my team will reach out to you if that's something of interest to you. If you want immediate help, just email me at ASAP at westcliniconline.com. I'll see you guys on the next video.